Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim VR Diabolist. So this is a mod list for Skyrim VR, and set up to play something like Diablo, where there's a whole lot of monsters and a whole lot of loot, but otherwise customized in a whole lot of ways that I guess we're going to find out. I didn't read every last thing while I was installing, but... And it was recently um, updated, so apparently your old save would have been broken, and the soonest anyone could have started this is like uh, a few days ago. So I guess we're hot on the trail, and maybe the algorithm will favor us. That'd be awesome. Anyway, I guess these are just uh, the regular dudes you can be. And because uh, I'm not planning to race through the game, then I guess we should be a Breton, because they have the most um, magic while not being absurdly uh, tall and stuff. Although, our Godians are pretty good because they can breathe underwater, but you can use magic for that. It's never a big deal because there's never anything in like uh, in the game like there was in Oblivion where you had to be underwater a whole lot for that one Thieves Guild quest or whatever. And Khajiit are extra sneaky. But yeah, I guess let's just be a, uh, a Breton. This dude's pretty cool looking. Gonna be extra pale and pretty skinny. His nose is pretty awful. If he'd stop moving, I can't really see your eyes, so I don't know. Uh, all this is probably fine. Let's be Nephilim or whatever. That's fine. Welcome to Diablos VR. You may want to choose a standing stone here, as you will not be able to choose one after you leave this area. You may also pick a class buff, then activate one of the crystal portals to start your new adventure. Be sure to speak with Iroleth in Dragon's Reach to begin the main Skyrim questline. Have fun monster hunting and loot hoarding, okay? Um, the, uh, ground is too far away, I can tell you that already. And there's a whole bunch of stuff loading, and I guess I have to wait for it. And we got smooth turning, which is horrible, it makes me sick, I want to vomit. So, um, don't want that. Um, I guess basically just like normal. What are these things? Items by itself are 10% better, price, bribes are cheaper, agent. Bard, higher critical hit chance, speech trap power better. That's pretty good. Restoration is more powerful. Potions and poison are more powerful. Uh, okay, so everything's loaded. So we can start playing the game whenever we want. We're not going to screw up the, uh, the scripts or anything. As a commoner, you have 50 less health, magicka, and stamina than a regular hero. Oh, that sucks. Acrobat. Increased movement speed. That's good. 20% chance to reflect all physical damage to the attacker. Increased stamina regeneration rate by 20%. That's really good. Barbarian. 30 natural armor and 30 stamina. Pretty basic. Mage, increase maximum magicka by 100. Increase maximum regeneration rate by 20%. Cool, if we're using magic. Arcane Smith, tempering improves items 30% more. Enchantments are 20% more powerful. I don't really know what that means, but it's probably good. Pilgrim, increases items harvested from plants by one. Increases skill learned from reading a skill book by one. That sounds like it sucks. Knight, Regenerate health 100% faster out of combat. 20% resistance to harmful magic. That sounds fucking awesome. Holy shit. Uh, Archer. Slow time by an additional 20% when aiming at bow and bows to 20% more physical damage. I think I really am going to be quite an archer, so let's just choose this. Although, uh, when you play, you can choose whatever you want. And, you know, lots of options. What are these things? Oh, yeah, the, st the stones. So, is that like a different kind of stone? Could I get one of each, I guess? Well, everyone knows the best one is the Atronach because you can combine it with other stuff to get a uh, 100% magic resistance, which I guess this is the Atronach. Corrupted Arcana. Those under the sign of the Atronach can only regenerate magicka by slaying enemies. Oh, crap. They found this or they, they changed this. Oblivion Bound. Their spells are much more effective and cast less magicka to cast. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. Well, unless this helps me uh, avoid damage from magic, then I don't think I do want it. The Lover, Secret Admirer. Those under the sign of the Lover are periodically gifted a random valuable item. Undying Love. Once a day, the power of love may bring them back from the brink of death. Um, I guess I have to read these all. The Apprentice, Prodigy. Those under the sign of the Apprentice cast spells for less magic, and novice spells are free! Holy shit! Sorcerer's Apprentice. Their spells are much more effective, but may randomly fizzle and become less effective instead. Oh, shit. Okay. The Serpent. Slither. Those under the sign of the Serpent sneak much faster at the cost of a gradual magicka drain. That's cool. While they have magicka remaining, sneaking and sneak attacks are much more effective. Well, that's cool. That might be useful. The Steed. Explorer. Those under the sign of the Steed can carry more items and sense the presence of landmarks in the area. 
Gallop. When not in combat, they travel much faster and have increased stamina regeneration. That'd be handy. But it's like, once you're there, it doesn't help you, so... The Mage. Master of the Arcane. Those under the sign of the Mage cast more effective spells and scrolls. The Mage's Path. They gain additional experience in all Mage skills. Um, no downside at all. The Warrior. Pure Spirit. Those under the sign of the Warrior inflict more damage with power attacks and long-range shots. The Warrior's Path. They gain additional experience in all Warrior skills. Well, we are going to be shooting things, so that could be pretty useful. The Thief. Ambush. Those under the sign of the Thief sneak more effectively and inflict more sneak attack damage. The Thief's Path. They gain additional experience in all Thief skills. I think I'll probably take that because we're going to be doing a whole lot of sneak bow stuff. But the Shadow Stone. Blur. Those under the sign of the Shadow move faster in combat. Heightened Shadows. They sneak much more effectively and inflict greatly increased sneak attack damage when near cover. Well, that sound, kind of sounds like that. I don't know. The Lady. Lunar Familiar. Those under the sign of the Lady have a spirit companion that appears in battle to fight for them. They sense when an enemy is capable of a killing blow and may retaliate with decisive force. Well, that sounds cool. Uh, I guess they got rid of kill moves, though, so they can't do those. They must be referring to something else. The Lord. Crown of Autumn. Those under the sign of the Lord can't regenerate stamina in combat, but their power attacks are stronger. That sounds like shit. They can still power attack when out of stamina. Oh, well, what do you need stamina for? At the cost of reduced damage and stagger. Well, I don't know. The Ritual. Mara's Mercy. Those under the sign of the Ritual summon the vengeful spirits of the recently dead to their side. Mara's Tears. They occasionally re relive a death they witnessed, creating a corpse and summoning its spirit. That's weird. The Tower. Royal Treasury. Those under the sign of the Tower get a quest for fabulous hidden treasure. Tower Key. They can open locked doors up to apprentice level once a day. They can open any lock up to expert level. Okay, yeah, that's just like always. Um... Okay, this is all about sneak attacks, but that's about actually sneaking. But if it's just like normal, I think if you have a hundred sneak, you're practically impossible to detect anyway. So let's choose the thief, I think. Because there's no archer stone. Wait, does that replace this thing? Oh, these are classes. Okay. So we're the archer class, and we have the thief stone. And what are these things? Okay, these are. this is like a hub to take us different places. But we know that to start the main quest, we have to talk to Irolith, so she's in Whiterun. Although we could start somewhere else. I don't really care about the main quest. So I guess for me, um, I would want to get Bound Bow as soon as possible. But usually I get it from Farangar, I think. Um, otherwise, you know, I don't remember. I think maybe there's a copy of it you can pick up somewhere. I just don't know. Uh, but we can save the game here. Yeah, let's save once. And so, uh, we'll start the new Let's Play right here. And I'll decide where the hell to go. Cutting this one here. If you've been watching, thanks! And I'll see you on the Let's Play. Bye bye God, my hands are weird looking. Jeez, look at that.